Nowadays, you cannot be a marine biologist and not be in some way concerned and working in climate change because the effects of climate change are happening so much faster in the ocean. The impacts of warming are being felt faster. Fishers or anybody that spends time in the ocean, they're already seeing different species today than they would have been seeing 20 years ago. You know, we're not studying something that may happen in the future. We're actually very much seeing the effects of warming right here, right now. So my, my work, for example, shows how we're losing kelp forests at the warm edge of their distribution because of climate change. Well, my name is Adriana Verges, and I'm a marine ecologist at UNSW Sydney. Operation Crayweed is a project where we're bringing back underwater forests that used to be in Sydney between the 80s and 90s. They went missing from 70 kilometers of coastline. So we first did an experiment to see, is this possible? Is there, is, is, can we actually bring the seaweed here and can it survive? And what we found was that not only could it survive, but it could actually reproduce in a very spectacular way. So we started creating a self-sustaining forest that gave us, well, it was an indication that yes, we could do this, we could bring it back. So it's a very rare good news environmental project where we can fix a problem, but we thought they can really inspire people. People get excited about whales and dolphins. So if you care about seaweeds and you want to engage people in the protection of seaweeds, it's not going to be easy, right? So what we did with Operation Cravit is collaborate with a lot of artists to, to help us bring the science into a realm where they could connect in a more emotional way. Thought leadership, the way I see it is that it's increasingly, it is about uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone and actually trying to look at the world through the you know, perspectives of, of other people, right? So back in the day, an academic like me would have spent you know, most of our lives documenting the decline of this or you know, how, how much seaweed and seagrass are we losing. Nowadays, I think universities, the best universities in the world, are really encouraging another way of doing things that involves stepping out of that ivory tower and actually connecting with people about say the environmental problem and also actually doing something about it you know so not just focus on, on those declines and documenting things really really well but actually you know trying to come up with solutions and, and bringing people along um, in, in, in that kind of journey.